Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to give you my review of the world's first 3D tablet, the T-Mobile G Slate. The T-Mobile G Slate is made by LG and it's the world's first 3D and 4G tablet together. We're going to start off with the hardware tour. First thing you'll notice here is a nice 8.9 inch screen, which I feel is a sweet spot for screens with a tablet. That's a really nice size without making it feel too big and it actually feels pretty good to view in the hand. So you'll notice that as we go through the software tour. In the front here you have a right here is a 2 megapixel front facing camera on the bottom you have your micro USB port and mini HDMI you have two stereo speakers here on this side you have the volume rocker here you have another speaker the power and lock button and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back you have dual 5 megapixel cameras that can record in 1080p video but can also record 720p 3D video in a variety of different modes and includes LED flash and it has this nice little sort of a uh, metal plate here on the back which is pretty nice but you kind of feel like it's like almost like a kickstand you want to kick up and um, we pop this to the side here this is where you'll find where you can get the SIM card right there slides back on just like that all right, just powered it off here. We'll power it back on in a second. Doesn't take too long. But while it's doing that, it does come with um, 32 gigabytes of inbuilt storage. Like I said, it's a 4G tablet. It has a dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor inside of it, and does run Android Honeycomb. And that's what we're going to view right now. And we're going to show you some of the 3D modes it can do as well. The T-Mobile G Slate runs stock Android, Android 3.0.1, so you get your five home screens that um, swipe over fluidly. Performance is pretty good with the Tegra 2 processor on here. Apps do load up quickly, as you'll see we go through. There's a little bit of lag in portrait mode, as you can see there, but it does catch up with itself. Turn it around this way, and you do have your customization options as well, too. So you can put wallpapers, after cuts, widgets, and you know, so on. But we'll go into the apps here. Not much in terms of uh, pre-installed applications. You do have T-Mobile's Get Web Now, T-Mobile TV, Xeno Reader. You do have Need for Speed Shift on here. Pretty much any Tegra, de Tegra device pretty much has a Need for Speed game on it. You have My Account. You have a 3D camcorder and a 3D player, which we're going to jump into. A 3D um, recorder here. Now the 3D does record in um, 720p. We also sample videos up of it. And it has different modes from side by side, single, anaglyphic, and mixed mode here as you can see there. Anaglyphic is sort of the old uh, blue and red 3D glasses which they have included a pair inside the packaging here so you can watch it right here on the device. In the 3D it's pretty decent. 720p video does look pretty decent. I mean you don't expect James Cameron avatar graphics with the 3D on here but for a mobile device that can record in 3D and upload it to YouTube it is definitely good for that and can only improve. Also with recording the cam camcorder can record in 1080p which is pretty nice in 2D mode and the 1080p videos look pretty good. We have some test video of the 2D video as well too. And on par with pretty much a cell phone I, I would say there. It's um, not going to blow you away but it is pretty pretty good and it does have good audio quality paired with it as well. Same with the 5 megapixel still images. The still images once again are pretty much on par with the cell phone. Not going to blow you away but they do get the job done. All right, we'll take a look here in the gallery and try to play some video playback. Now, as far as playing back the 1080p videos that you played, it's pretty much okay. But I still have pretty much choppy issues when I try to play some of my own 1080p content, as you'll see here. Even if, even, even if you do double twist or movies here, you get a bit of a choppy performance here. And I've had that on a few tablets. You have to really, really be exact on the codex here to get it to work well. But then even then, even then I've tried different ones, on, and it's always been sort of a issue with me. I may be doing something wrong there, but I kind of feel that they kind of need to get the codec support better inside the Android tablet so that we get better 1080p and 720p video playback on them. Standard content plays, plays back fine, but it's just when you go HD, and this is coded in H.264, which is a pretty much a standard codec that, you, that, that, that most people use out there, and I'm surprised it doesn't play it back that well. MKV files will play back in double twist, but once again, those don't play back um, very solidly well either. It's also going to, you're going to I'll see choppy performance with that. Okay, and that's pretty much like this in terms of sort of the custom software that's on here. Like I said, the performance is pretty good. It's fast, absolute up good. You know, it's pretty much on par with what you would see in most Tegra 2 um, Android tablets these days. 
The battery life is pretty good. I was able to get about six and a half to seven hours with using the 4G speeds as well too. And the 4G does work pretty fast. I'm having a little bit of issue connecting right now as of this recording, but I was able to connect beforehand and it was fine. And I was able to get the nice speeds that T-Mobile does offer with their 4G. So overall, I do like the T-Mobile G Slate. It's a fast tablet, like most Android uh, 3.0 honeycomb tablets are with any NVIDIA type of processor inside of it. I like the fact that it has 32 gigabytes of built-in storage. I do wish it did have the ability to expand the storage, but unfortunately it doesn't have that. It, I like the weight to it, even though it's a little bit heavier than some tablets out there. I do like the weight. It gives a nice solid feel to it, and it's got a nice professional look to it. And I do like the 8.9 inch screen size. I think that's pretty much the sweet spot for tablets. I think a lot of 8.9 inch inch tablets that will come out will be the one that will sell pretty well because it's the right size as far as in the hand and screen size to be able to view your content. Screen is pretty nice. Um, it doesn't have very good view angles. Once you kind of turn it hit to the side, you can see it kind of fades off there a little bit. But um, overall, the content looks good on here. I don't have any complaints, too many complaints about the screen there. And um, overall, I like the T-Mobile G Slate. It has the advantage of the 4G radio inside of it. You can get it on contract for I think about 400 bucks right now, which is pretty great good for a tablet I would definitely have to say there. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also check out our full written review with our pictures and video. All the links to our social media and this review are in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.